Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Beret from a Suzuki book. Um, this is actually from Box 3rd Cello Suite. And um, one of the important things that this song is teaching in this book is triple stop chords. Um, so these are going to consist of you playing the bottom two notes and then moving your bow to play the top two notes, which means that middle note gets played two times. But you're going to play it so fast that it sounds like you're just playing everything all at once. And the, the best way to do this is um, to make sure you go to the top two notes really soon. So the bottom two notes only get a tiny bit of bow, just like that, and then you immediately go to the top two. So in the very first triple stop chord, we have a D, an A, and an F. So you play the D and A first, immediately go to the A and F. After you're really comfortable with that, you can add a trill as well, because it, it says that in the music. So, that will sound like this. The second triple stop chord is going to be the D and G and C. So, first we play the D and G, then we immediately go to the D and C. So, give yourself a little bit of time and just practice going two strings for a really short amount of bow and then immediately switching to the top two. And then the next two, that's D and G. And then you can add the fingers. even though it's much more than half, sounds like this. original bowings. Um, but since we don't actually have a uh, box original bowings, we don't know what he actually wanted. And because it was written for cello, even if we knew what he actually wanted, it might not work out quite as well on the violin. So here's the bowings that I typically use. choose what kind of bones are best for you. Try to make sure you write them in your part so that you are consistent with the bones that you like. And that's the end of beret number one um, from the two berets. We'll do beret two next week. Bye-bye.